going to a new school can be life-changing, especially if you find a hidden lab with three creatures living in jars. Crunch, Marka, and Oval, the Jar Dwellers, plucked from around the world by Derwent, the Naturalist. Now, if we can decode his big book, we could teach them enough to get them safely back home. But only if we can avoid Van Riceberger and his kooky Jar Tracker machines. The Jar Dwellers, they're out! Silly, it's time you knew that I, Doc Nockmurst, am your father. No! <gasps> no! Uh, not again. <gasps> Extremadura, I have enough. You always eat everything. I no more share with you. Tierra del Fuego. From today, this Ubu territory. And you two, stay out. Oh, yeah? Then Crunch make Crunchland, place where Crunch is boss, and you no go. Finding food, maintaining the environment, identifying danger, the SOS program is going great. At this rate, the JD should be ready for the wild by the end of the year. Darwin would be proud. <laughs> it's not yours, it's mine. Oh, mine! Put down my fridge. Hey! Uh, Why we have to leave in such a small place? I just want some peace. Mm. Have a nice day, guys. Huh? Where are we going? My fridge! Jimmy. Put it down! Ugh. Wait up! What are we gonna do? They're going nuts in there! We are going to do absolutely nothing. Uh. Remember what it was like when we first started? Maintenance of the environment, identifying danger, we follow this SOS program, and they'll be ready for the wild in a month. Fluffy pillow it's mine! Alone! Oh, mine! Boy, when you think about it, we lead pretty routine lives. Remember how we solved the problem? Who's a silly sausage? Ho, ho, ho! I'm a silly sausage! Me, me, me! It's called TV, and his name's Silly Sausage, and he's on 24 7. Mm. This too lowbrow for crunch. Crunch like comedy make you think. Crunch can never see time. Crunch like this show. It's called a refrigerator, and it keeps the snacks fresh so you can get to them whenever you want. What do you think? Cool. So you're saying we let them work it out for themselves? We can't be with them in the wild, David. What happens if they join a herd or have to share territory with other animals? So this week's SOS program is We Do Nothing. I like it. <laughs> now, my beautiful creation, just one last check of the... Ah! Don't sneak up on a man when he's working with radioactive material. That stuff's radioactive? Yes, with a half-life of 35,000 years. I never have to worry about a power source for the jar tracker again. Give me a hand, Chang. Uh, shouldn't I be in a radiation suit? No, especially when it's safely housed in the special compartment. Uh, uh, isn't that just a coffee jar? Yes, but it's expensive coffee. And you're wearing a radiation suit because... Fashion statement. Oh. Ubo no speak to Crunch anymore. Then stop talking! I'm not. You are. Hey. Tierra del Fuego. That's it. I can put no longer up with you. I go. Crunch go too. I like it here. Hey, why are you two standing there? You need help getting out through the well, don't you? Huh? Hey! You know, we work really well together. Goodbye forever! Hey guys, my name's Barka. Not gonna cause a hassle, just gonna mark my territory, okay? Ooh. Hmm, too greedy? You're right. Maybe I'll go for something cozier. What? <laughs> Good castle! Needs moat! I claim everything I can see as mine, which is, well, everything. <laughs> Turn to page 62. Uh. We will continue from last uh. week on how to play the triangle. Crunch! Correctly. Uh. Oh. 
I mean, crunchy breakfast cereal affecting my stomach. Permission to see the school nurse? Permission, D. Oh. It granted. Psst, Sophie! Huh? Oh. Sophie, what's going on over there? How's your experiment coming? Oh. Wow, window foam. How long has he been there? And how do they keep getting out? I wish I knew, but it's only crunch. We should be able to... on the roof. They've split up and cleaned their own territories. So, way to go with the plan about doing nothing. You deal with Crunch. I'll deal with Ubo. If we don't get them back into the cave before class ends, they're in trouble. Huh? Oh, I sense jar dwellers. Out! Everybody out! Class is over. Tell me again why I don't have a radiation suit. As I said, you're perfectly safe. And they don't come in kid sizes. Aha! Quick! I bet it's from a jar. Wow, that stuff's so powerful it even got you through the suit. Oh, right. Crash Mitsu! Oh, oh, thank you, Chang. Now let's follow this trail to the jar dweller. We've gone in a complete circle. Oh, look, boss! Another line! Just inside the orchard! <laughs> okay, guys, this is my new territory, and there's no way I am making it smaller. I'm not budging for anyone. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me get out of your way. Crunch, you have to come back. Van Riceberger will see you out here. No, nothing made Crunch go back. Crunch, king of Crunchland, have everything he wants. Hmm. Crunch, rollerblading is the funnest thing on Earth! No, Crunch watch Celebrity Big Sausage. Want to know who get voted out of house? Hoping that DJ Terizzo, Crunch no like him. Then you're not interested in my plan to put you in charge of the TV remote forever? Hmm? No, Ubul queen of all she see, just like on Cliffs of Paragonia. But don't you care about being alone? About us? Ubul no care about no one, and no need no one. Everyone needs... <gasps> Sophie, Sophie, Sophie! Oh. I'm coming! Why are you smiling? Care about no one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you two. I not talk him until he apologize. Me too! But mean her! <sighs> At least help us find Barka. Mm. How'd you get her off the roof? Let's just say it nearly killed me. You? Hey, I'm a master negotiator. Well, either bark is in the orchard, or these trees have gotten sloppy. Another circle. <gasps> There's another line over there. And there. The circles are getting smaller. <laughs> Do we follow them all? No, you nincompoop. Obviously, the jar dweller that's making them is in the center of the orchard. <laughs> We've got to get to Barka before they do. How do we stop them? <gasps> Come on, guys. We have to work together for Barka. For, for Barka. Barka. We're getting closer, Chang. And this thing's getting greener. I told you before, Chang. You're perfectly safe. And besides, we'll have plenty of money to deal with the radiation side effects. Side effects? Did I say side effects? I meant possible side effects. Barka, you have to move. No way. This is my territory, and I'm not moving anymore. Maybe you will when you hear what Crunch has to say. Uh, uh, um, Barka, Crunch, sorry he no give you half fridge. Really? Wait a minute. Is this a trick? Did the duck send you to make me move again? Barka, you have to hurry. Van Riceberger's coming. Oh, in that case, hop on. Huh. <gasps> Wee. Um, uh, boss! Chang, stop being such a baby. Oh, see what you nearly made me do? I nearly stepped on this gunk and had another spasm. Where's David and Ubal? Oh no! Ubal! Me not get to say I'm sorry! 
Remind me to never eat those apples. You're safe! <laughs> 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 Do you think this will stop the territorial disputes? Sure. Uh, at least till the others find out about Crunch having supreme control of the remote. <gasps> what? Thank you, Jang. Night, boss. We're 100% sure there are no side effects from the radiation, right? Chang, I assure you, you're fine. <laughs>